Hi everyone, it's Rachel back with the Shades of Orange and today I'm excited to bring you another round of horror audiobook recommendations. I've done these audiobook recommendation videos before, including one specifically for horror, so I'm going to have them linked down below, but I'm not including any repeats on this list. So these are a list of horror books that I haven't discussed, at least not as audiobooks before. And I've said that I am someone that is very picky when it comes to narration. I struggle a lot of times with those really monotone audiobook narrators, especially like a male in his late 40s or 50s that just reads the story out very slowly. I know for some people they can find that to be a really great audiobook experience, especially when it comes to horror, but for me I typically need something more engaging. So these are horror audiobooks that in one way or another connected with me. I found them to be very gripping. Some of them I found very scary or scarier because I was listening to the audiobook narration, or I just thought that the audio book gave something extra to the book and really enhanced that experience. So if you are like me and are obsessed with audiobooks, hopefully you'll find something new here. Of course, this is not sponsored in any way by Audible. I do listen to most of my audiobooks via my library, so Hoopla, Overdrive, Libby, all of that, as well as a service called Scribd, which I'll have linked down below. All that being said, let's get started. Now the first audiobook I want to recommend is Mind of Winter by Laura Kashiki, and this is set on Christmas Day. It is blizzarding outside. The husband in the story has gone out to fetch his family and bring them over, and the story is told from the wife's perspective who is stuck at home with her teenage daughter. And right from the beginning of the story, she is just captivated by the idea that something has followed them home from Russia. And so while the story is told in the present day, it also reflects back to the time when they adopted their daughter from Russia. And the wife just has this feeling that something, like I said, just followed them home from Russia. The reason I'm repeating that sentence so much is that it's repeated a lot in this book. And this is very much a piece of psychological horror, and part of that comes from the repetitiveness of the writing. So I'm going to hesitantly recommend the audiobook version, knowing that it's not going to work for everyone. But for me, it definitely was an incredible experience. So throughout this book, you have this sentence repeated over and over again, but you don't really know what it means. You don't know if it means anything. And otherwise, it's a very slow story. You get the tension between the mother and daughter and their relationship and it's cold and blizzarding and so you get that atmosphere and you're just not quite sure what's going on. And I found the audiobook narration just really added to the tension. I found it very suspenseful and so if you're intrigued by it, I would definitely recommend trying out the audiobook version while I'm holding a physical book here. I personally read it via my library and I just thought it was incredible and wow it has a good ending. It's not your typical horror story but definitely plays into that psychological aspect and I really do think that the audiobook version enhanced the story. Next I want to talk about A Head Full of Ghosts by Paul Tremblay which is about a family whose older daughter starts to act strange. They don't know what's wrong, they take her to a doctor and eventually start to worry that she might possibly be possessed. There is a recession going on and the family is very much down on their luck so they really don't have the financial resources to help her. So instead they decide to go on a reality TV show that is going to pay for them to get a professional exorcism. The story is told from the perspective of the younger sister and is told in the present day her reflecting back on her childhood. And this is a case where I want to recommend the audiobook narration because I just thought that it really brought a lot to the story in terms of creating an engaging narrative narrative. And I just thought the female narrator just had a lot of life and vigor in her voice. And she did a really good job of narrating the story from the perspective of a young girl without making it annoying. The story also has interludes of blogs from someone who was following the reality TV show. Some people do find those sections to be a bit annoying because she kind of sounds like a flippant teenager when she is reading those parts. But I thought it fit with the story because this very much is a piece of control contemporary horror story reflecting back on of course the classics of the exorcist but giving it a modern twist and this audiobook definitely feels very modern but again I think it fits the story very well and again this is a case where it's a possession story but I always personally feel like possession stories are also psychological horror stories and I really thought that the narration just really brought that to life in a really engaging exciting way. 
Next, I want to recommend And the Trees Crept In by Don Kurtigich. This is a young adult horror novel, but I do think it has a lot of wide appeal. And this follows two sisters that run away from their abusive home and end up going to their aunt's house. She lives in an isolated part of the woods in this cabin, and she invites them in, welcomes them in, and from there, they spend time with her, and it's very lovely. However, she warns them to stay away from the woods. They they are possibly creeping in and she warns them that there is something out there and the story definitely has a Slenderman feel to it. Now the reason that I want to recommend the audiobook specifically is that it is very highly produced and I think for those of you that want to try an audiobook and really get enhanced experience, this is it because the audiobook narrator really changes her voice at times she whispers, she raises her voice, she changes it and beyond that the audiobook narration is very edited in unique ways that I've never seen before. There are times that the voices are layered so that the narrator is speaking more than once at the same time. There are also some other voices thrown in there. There are some sound effects. And at times I almost thought it was too much, almost too distracting, but there were other times where it did start to get pretty creepy. I read part of this book at night and at those times in the middle of the night, yeah, it got pretty creepy. So if you are interested in trying an audiobook narration that has a lot of production around it, this is definitely one that I would recommend checking out. It's very unique and I think a lot of people will really enjoy it. Now from there, I want to recommend Feed by Mira Grant, which is the first book in her News Flesh series. And this is actually set after a zombie apocalypse has happened and people for the most part have won and are now rebuilding society. They haven't fully gotten rid of the zombies, but they are generally contained. And this is actually a book that follows a brother and sister that are journalists and they are going to follow the election of a major candidate that is going to run for a major place in their political system. And what's unique here is that they are both bloggers and they are telling their story online. And it's a very contemporary horror story again. And I found the narration to be very engaging. And one of the things I really like is that they actually had dual narrators. So for both the male and female perspective, you get a narrator for each one. And I really do like that because I do think that females don't always do the best job reading the voices of males and vice versa and I just really enjoyed this one because it is told somewhat in blog entries you get those read to you and I just found this book to be absolutely gripping and definitely one that was really brought to life by the audio experience so another one I would absolutely recommend. Now I want to recommend Suicide Forest by Jeremy Bates which follows a group of teachers working in Japan. They decide to go and climb Mount Fuji but for reasons Reasons, they end up changing their plans and instead end up deciding to camp in a forest that is known as Suicide Forest. This is an actual place in Japan where a lot of people go to commit suicide. Of course, their tour guides say that it's not a really good idea, but they go ahead anyway. And as you can imagine, during that camping trip, staying overnight, strange things start to happen. There is a breakdown of the relationships between these characters that aren't necessarily friends to begin with and this turns into a piece of survival horror. And I really enjoy survival horror to begin with, but I think that the audiobook narration really lent itself to the genre very well. This is very much a case where the audiobook narrator just simply did a really good job. I found his voice to be very engaging and gripped me into the story from the start right till the very end. I found myself just craving any reason to put the audiobook on, and that's always a good sign. The story itself was very good, but the narration definitely added another level for me because I thought that he did a good job just working on the dynamics between the characters and just really bringing them to life. So definitely recommend the book, but especially the audiobook narration. Now, if I'm gonna do a whole video recommending audiobooks, I really wanna talk about one of my favorite horror audiobooks, and that, of course, is Nosferatu by Joe Hill. I've talked about this so many times, but if you don't know, this follows a young girl named Vic who has the ability to find things on her bike by going over this supposedly imaginary bridge, and she becomes involved with this villainous character named Charlie Manx who takes children off in his old Rolls Royce car and takes them off to a place called Christmas Land. I absolutely love this horror story to begin with but 
If you are going to read it, you should definitely, definitely try the audiobook narration, which is done by Kate Mulgrew. For those of you that are Trekkie nerds like me, she was Captain Janeway on Star Trek Voyager. But for those of you that don't know her from there, she also was Red on Orange is the New Black. And I want to recommend this because her voice in this was so gritty. And the opening scene in this story was just incredible. I think if you just listen to the start, you will know if this is going to be for you because her gravelly voice as she describes what is happening just gives me goosebumps every time. She puts on some great voices. The children in this book are so creepy and I just love it so much. I reread this book constantly and I always, always reread it via the audiobook because it's incredible. If I had to pick a favorite horror audiobook, this is it right here. Absolutely love it. Now I want to finish out the video by recommending a collection of short novellas by Joe Hill and that is one called Strange Weather and I think this is great for people who have probably already read Nosferatu, likely already tried out the audiobook narration for it. Hopefully you loved it as much as I did and if you weren't aware the same audiobook narrator Kate Milgrew also narrated one of the novellas in this collection. That is called Rain and it is about a post-apocalyptic apocalyptic story where there was a town in Colorado where the sky rained down crystallized nails that killed so many people and then there is this whole aftermath there is a weather system that causes havoc all throughout the world and the story is told from the perspective of a young lesbian woman and you really get to see how everything unfolds from her perspective and once again Kate Milgrew brings her gritty voice to the table and is just so incredible incredible, so gripping. So if you want that similar feel to Nosferatu, this is that. At this point, I just want to listen to everything that Kate Milgrew narrates and the fact that this is another Joe Hill book with that same engaging storytelling just makes for an awesome experience. Now, if we're going to talk about Strange Weather, I also want to mention another novella and that is Snapshot because it was narrated by Will Whedon. He, of course, was Wesley Crusher on The Next Generation as well. I think most people just know him just kind of as a nerd. He has done a lot of guest spots on TV shows like The Big Bang Theory and, of course, is the famous voice that did the Ready Player One audiobook. So if you're a fan of that science fiction audiobook and are also interested in some horror, you should definitely check out his performance in Snapshot. That is about a young boy who believes that there's a man going around with a Polaroid camera that can steal memories. And so it's a horror book, but it also has a lot of sci-fi elements to it because he is a young, brilliant inventor himself. And he's just a really nerdy, unpopular kid. So I think it has a lot of similarities to something like Ready Player One. And I thought that Will Whedon's narration as always was incredible. He's one of my favorite all around narrators. So the fact that he's finally narrating something in the horror genre really excited me. So definitely recommend the whole collection. I also thought Loaded was really good. I just didn't think the narration was as incredible as Will Whedon and Kate Mulgrew's voices, but overall the whole collection is definitely worth checking out. So that is it for this video. Don't forget to check out my previous videos if you want even more audiobook recommendations. Otherwise, I would love to know if I've enticed you to pick up some new books, and I would also love for you to recommend me some of your favorite horror audiobooks. If I get enough recommendations, I would love to do a round three and give you a whole nother batch of some books to put in your ears. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Uh, if you haven't yet, please consider subscribing. I read a lot of horror as well as thrillers, science fiction, and fantasy. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it, share it around, and otherwise, I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye-bye.